Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Insight with Pape Masa, the place where you have your arsenal of knowledge enriched. Uh, if you're new here, you can call me Paps and feel so much welcome. Today we are looking at some unique English words that have gotten themselves to the Guinness Book of Records for particular reasons. One is for their longevity and the other one is because of their structural composition. So let's uh, dive right in. So the longest word in English that we have on record is uh, the chemical name for the human protein that is uh, shortly called titin. And it's the longest word because it uh, it's made up of 189,819 letters. And if it is to be written down, it uh, it's believed to take approximately 12 pages. And uh, the pronunciation, like if I had to say the word right now, it would take me like three and a half hours to actually do it. Uh, perhaps I'll try it, but we don't have three and a half hours. So, so sorry. So I'm not going to include the word here, but you can just find out what word it is. Well, now that you already know which is the longest English word on record, let's go right ahead and look at some of uh, the words that are also quite long in terms of... Uh, you know the word lettering now uh the other word is uh, which comprises of 45 letters today i'm having a more kenya because i don't have a genius mind to you know keep all these of head so the word is uh pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcanoconiosis well i tried and uh this is a lung disease that is caused by inhalation of uh, silica or what is rather known as uh quartz dust uh, the next one is um, 30 letters long and uh, it, uh, it's pronounced, uh, let me try, pseudo pseudo hypopara, hypoparathyroidism. Ooh. So this is actually considered to be the longest word in the Oxford Dictionary and uh, this is a mild form of uh, inherited uh, pseudo hypoparathyroidism even if i don't know what that is or uh, maybe the uh, this medical i don't know maybe they can help us uh, that simulates the symptoms of the disorder but it's not associated with the uh, abnormal levels of calcium and uh, phosphorus in the blood okay the next word of interest is uh can i even pronounce this uh floxinocili i really can't i really can't but this is the word um the word is 29 letters long and uh it is the estimation of something as being valueless and uh, it's actually ironical because personally i feel this is uh, a pretty valueless word uh, itself so why is such a humongous word for something really valueless doesn't really make sense but anyway that's the word on record and then the other one is uh well this is quite familiar because it's a word that uh i first encountered it during our campus days in our uh, linguistic uh, class so it's uh anti-disestablishmentarianism at least i can pronounce it even without reading so it comprises 28 letters and uh, this word formally described the uh, disestablishment of the Church of England. But today it uh, simply refers to any opposition of uh, withdrawing government support uh, of a particular church or a particular religion. And then the next uh, interesting word is uh, 34 letters long. And um, can I read this? It's um, super supercalifragilistic. Expedia, expi, expi, expiadiosias, well, something like that. So this is just a word that is used to refer, like you use it when you have nothing to say, and this is in reference to a childhood program uh, called Mary Poppins. I don't know, depending on how old you are, maybe perhaps uh, you remember it. And so the other interesting word that was used in the 1990s was incomprehensibility. Which is, this is not really long, but it used to refer to things that cannot be understood. Incomprehensibilities. I think this is uh, from the word comprehend. That's quite familiar. And then the other interesting word, remember we're not looking at longer words anymore. We're looking at now the word structure and composition. So the other word is strength, uh, strength simply strength. 
strengths. So this is just nine letters long, and uh, it's earned its Guinness record for being one of the longest monosyllabic uh, words. A monosyllabic word is just a word that has one single syllable. Remember, <laughs> let me take it to um, English a little bit. A syllable, uh, syllables are made up of uh, vowel sounds. So of course, if it has just one vowel sound, then it is monosyllabic. Well, the next one is this word here. Can I really read it? I can't. But it's unique uh, because the word uh, is uh, exclusively made up of vowel letters. And uh, it is a musical term from the medieval terms. Maybe those in uh, the music industry can tell us what it means. I really can't. But it's only six letters. But it's, it's only unique because uh, it has all the letters being vowels. The next word is uh, an imaginatively. This one is unique because uh, has a lot of vowels as well, including the final Y and imaginatively Li at the end. So the Y can be considered as a vowel sound as well. And uh, it is unique because uh, the vowel and the consonant letters keep alternating. Okay. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, however, uh, um, imaginatively is not actually the longest word with alternating vowel and consonant uh, letters because that position is taken by another interesting word here called uh, honorificability yeah. honorificability I can't read it but this is the word here it comprises 27 letters and uh, we thought that it's a way of saying with honorableness so if you look at the word composition the consonant and the vowel letters keep alternating okay the next interesting word is is this really a word that a sound it's something like t okay the the, the lettering is t s k t s k like tsk, tsk, something of the sort so this is the longest word that doesn't contain a vowel letter or a vowel sound and uh, if you tsk, 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 someone, it uh, simply indicates that you disapprove of something or you disapprove of whatever they are saying. So maybe next time when somebody is coming to you with a lot of nonsense or something that you can't actually comprehend, maybe you can tsk, 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 them. Yeah, now you have a word. Okay, so the next category of words are what we call isogams. Isogams are words that do not repeat letters at all, at all. So the first one is uh, un uncopyrightable. Uncopyrightable, this is from the word copyright, meaning that you can't copyright it. Not eligible for copyright. And then the other one is uh, subdama subdamatoglyphic. Yeah. Subdamatoglyphic sub i don't know what the correct intonation is supposed to be but it at least it has the word dermatology in uh within it so we can uh relate it to the skin yeah subdermatoglyphic well, whatever that word so we call them isogams so if you look at the composition of those words they don't repeat any letters okay so um the last word that we have today on uh, our insight is uh Susquipedalianism. Susquipedalianism. So this describes the tendency to use very long uh, words. I think this is characteristics of uh, characteristic of the Luas of <laughs> the Lua tribe. So and uh, it's interesting because uh, it said if you possess this uh, particular trait, you will enjoy trying to use these particular words uh, that I've mentioned in this article from uh, the very first one uh, in your next conversation. And uh, if you are actually a Susquipedalian, then it won't be really difficult for you. Except for the last one, which takes three and a half hours because actually nobody has the time to listen to you, you know, trying to yap all those 189, 819 letters. Okay, so for your brain food, um, we have this three letter word. But it has 645 meanings. It's categorized as the most annoying word in English. 
because um, I think that is because of the context of use. Uh, yeah, like when the word is used contextually, then it can have a lot of meaning. 645, man, that's a lot. So can you guess which word is it? Which is the most annoying word? Three letters long and uh, it has a lot of meanings. So thanks for joining me in this insight today. Uh, this is your girl, Pups. So make sure you like, comment, uh, subscribe, share with your friends. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye for now.